my name is Cuppy Kate, and welcome back to the next episode of Wolf Quest. We are back at our den here with Kiba and the three pups that are still very tired. And now after hunting that bull elk in the last episode, we are also very tired. We don't even have enough energy to keep taking territory and making our territory stronger. We need the rest so that we can do that tomorrow. So that's what we're gonna be focusing on today is expanding our territory and hopefully some scavenger hunting on the side. <laughs> but we moved to our new den last episode here at Elk Hills Den. <laughs> Sounds like a really fancy neighborhood name, but we named it that because last time we had passed by, I think like three, at least three herds of elk. <laughs> it was ridiculous. Oh, eat up little ones, you need to grow. Speaking of growing, look at this! Oh my gosh! So Teo and Aspen are a solid 9.4 pounds and Mikhail is just two ounces away from them at 9.2. They are growing so well. Our fleas are only a measly 3%. That's so great. Okay. Bane is still pretty tired. Our purple bar isn't quite all the way full, but that's okay. We have enough energy to definitely go and strengthen Oops, some of our territory. Oh yeah, so all of these areas here that have become completely dark, I think we're gonna focus on strengthening them. I mean, we might even come down here and try and take this and make a really big territory. We had talked about doing that for our power couple a couple of times because they are so strong. Um, that that might be a goal of theirs, that they want to have a big territory to keep their baby safe. Okay, so let's do a little bit of play. They're still pretty tired, I think. Oh yeah, they are pretty tired. Let's do some rolling. Uh, Bane's like, I'm so glad we're okay. <laughs> He's being all shy right now. Let's do a good howl. Make sure everybody else knows this is our spot. <laughs> Come on, babies, howl with me. Perfect. All right, now we're gonna tell them to go inside. Our affinity's back at 100%. Everything is going so smoothly, I would almost think I was playing on easy. In fact, we're gonna actually check that. We're not, good. <laughs> I don't usually play on easy. I did the first time I ever played this game because I had never done it before, but. All right, let's eat our little meat chunk right here. And we can always go back for some bull elk because it's not that far away. I actually went ahead and marked it on the map. It's, it's right there. <laughs> okay. So we're gonna call Bane with us. Come on, Bane. We've got some territory taking to do. Okay, I think we're gonna travel south this way and just take as much as we can here. We might even take this one from the Crevice Lake pack because we're that kind of pack. We're gonna do that and be petty. <laughs> um, yeah, all right, let's get going. So um, if you'll notice, I'm gonna start cutting out some bits of travel because you, know, you don't need to see me running around. And then uh, we'll probably meet back when we're done taking a full territory or if something interesting happens. <laughs> I will definitely make sure to show you guys. You will never miss anything interesting happening, I promise.
Okay guys, that was a long journey. So I brought us back to the bull elk to see if we couldn't eat some, get our bellies full for going back to the pups. I will show you on our map. I was actually able to go down and get quite a bit of territory here. Um, I wasn't able to get these two because we had started to grow so tired. I was concerned that if we were attacked for any reason, we wouldn't do so well because our stamina would be so low. So these were the two and those are the two that I haven't really strengthened yet, but I was able to kind of get this going. So that's good. And they have a huge territory. It might not be as big as Crevice Lake. Crevice Lake is really pushing in to the Junction Butte pack over here. And the Prospect Peak even is trying to push into Junction Butte. So they're trying to escape because they're being cornered up into our territory. So we need to make sure we take a stand and say, nope, you're either going to have to fight them or fight us. One of those, but it ain't going to be us. <laughs> All right. So let's see. I think... Okay, yes, Bane is still a little hungry, so we're gonna let him munch a little bit. And it's been snowing the entire time that I've been taking territory, and I'm like, oh, I bet the frame rate's gonna be great on this video. <laughs> but hopefully not, hopefully not. At least it looks beautiful. And Kiba in real life loves the snow, so if, uh, if we could, she would just be bouncing around and frolicking in the snow right now. She loves it. And she didn't even really get to live in the snow much of her life um, because I was living in Texas when I got her. And we lived there for a really long time. And then we moved to Georgia and we lived in Georgia for a bit. So she's always been in the Southern states. But when we came to Colorado to be with hubby, uh, it snowed for like a week straight when I first got here and she just, she never wanted to come inside. So if anybody, if you have a husky and anybody ever tells you like, it's abuse to leave them outside in the snow, tell them they don't know what they're talking about. They want to be out there. They don't get cold. <laughs> Trust me. If it was a blizzard, sure, that would be bad. But huskies love the snow. <laughs> they, they literally, their job is literally running, um, pulling a sled on snow. So don't worry. They're not freezing. I promise. They're fine. Okay, how are my babies? Our affinity actually didn't go down too bad. Yep, and it's because our fleas are so low. When the fleas start getting higher in percentage, the um, affinity just like plummets, <laughs> like it's nothing. But because we took care of that last time, we're gonna be just fine. Okay, you guys, mom needs to sleep and she kind of wants to sleep in, in the den. Yep, that's what she wants to do. She wants to snuggle with her babies. Where is Bane? Oh, there he is. <laughs> oh, what is, what is he doing? He's keeping a careful eye as he always does. All right, mom's coming in. Make room. Oh. All right, let's sleep. I will say there is something with sleeping in the den that makes it really special. There are consequences though. The more you sleep in the den, the higher your fleas get and the faster they get high. But I just love the dreaming aspect of being in the den. And Oh, it's storming now. Thunder snow. That's what we call it. Okay. Oh my goodness. The weather has just tanked the last couple of days. Coming out, babies. You need to eat, even if the storm is bad. <laughs> They're like, ugh, rain. There you go. Oh, yay! I wonder if any of that bull elk is still there. We might go and get some more of that just to make sure that we're full. Okay, it looks like Crevice Lake took that corner piece. I think they might want that den right there, which is why they're taking it. But otherwise, we look pretty good. Junction Butte did push up into this one, so we might actually have to let these go. But we're going to have to come in and help some of this stuff down here. But hopefully we can do that with ease. I didn't find any question marks. Like, I kept the V, the v button pressed. <laughs> I kept the scent view pressed. Um, you use V to get to that, by the way. That's why I said V. <laughs> um, but I didn't see any question marks. So I was looking, though. Oh, no, no, no. Go home. Go inside. Go inside, come on. Okay. <gasps> Teo and 
Aspen are 10 pounds. Oh my gosh. This is so good. Did they eat enough? They did. Okay, so after this eagle is done doing its thing, we might actually go see if there's anything left of that bull elk after sleeping. And then go and look for some question marks. Maybe we'll see if we can't strengthen up this right here as well. Okay, eagle, we get it. You're circling. You're not gonna get any puppies. They're in the den. I see you. Oh good, the rain is gonna stop. <laughs> okay, I think what we're gonna do... Oh, I hear a lot of wolves. That's a little disconcerting. Okay, we're gonna call Bane to us. Let's see, what did the sense say today? All the scents seem to be coming from that direction, but we don't really want to go that direction. We want to go this direction. Okay, well first, let's go have a little lunch or breakfast. I don't know what time of day it is. Oh, well, if there's no more left of the bull elk, I do see what we're going to be eating now. And I don't see any. I think the bull elk was eaten in the night. So. Mm, we could have done better. But we're going to take her anyway. We already got her started. Oof. That hurt. I held on too long. Oh, this is cool though. You guys will actually get to see um, how much better they move together. They actually move like a herd a little bit better than they did in the last update. <laughs> oh, and see, they're like, they they know that we're trying to get her. So they're protect, like the AI is so good. It's so good. And they're avoiding obstacles really well. It's uh, bad for us though. It makes hunting just a little harder. I haven't played this in Accurate again since I got the, the uh, beta update. Eee! Okay. Talking and hunting is quite difficult. <laughs> okay, I have to let go. Bane, where did you go? Bane. Please tell me Bane is with us. <laughs> Please tell me I'm not hunting by myself right now. There he is. <laughs> Bane, why are you grabbing onto her? I have a target. Arr. Get her. Fight her hip. Eat. Okay. Wow. See, they're just adeptly avoiding all of the trees. It's just, it makes it so real. I think that's why I love this game, is it's truly like you really are getting to play a wolf, like how it would be in Yellowstone. Woo, she's mad. Ow, I just got ran over. <laughs> oh, that male is going to try and protect her. That's not good. No, he's not. <laughs> he bailed. <laughs> Bane, you didn't need to protect me from anything. You needed to help me take this down. Okay, that's another successful kill for our wonderful power couple. I'm so glad you guys got to see that. You have got to play this game. <laughs> it's so good. It's so, so good. And there were rumors about it possibly coming to mobile. I don't know if that's still true, but if it is, that would be awesome. <laughs> okay. Well, awesome. So let's see, what did we do today? We took territory. Oh, speaking of territory, I feel like we need to, I'm gonna grab this. Oh, did I take two, whoops. Just leaving chunks of meat everywhere. Okay. Okay, actually, hold on. We're gonna strengthen this. Yep. I'm gonna run over here and strengthen this one. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, I should have marked that. Oh no. Okay. All right, I'm gonna take this and then I'm gonna go back and mark where, there she is. Okay. So on our map, cow elk. 
All right, and we're still not that far from the den. Wow, <laughs> that den was perfectly named Elk Hills. There's just elk everywhere. No wonder the Crevice Lake pack really wanted the spot. But I think we're pushing into them on this side. That's why they're coming down. I kind of feel bad for Junction Butte. They're just being wiped out down there, but I can't worry about them. I have a family to raise. Okay, well, we're just gonna take this back to our pups and we're gonna feed them up a little bit and I'm kind of hoping in the next episode we're gonna get to that 12 pound mark and then the game changes a little bit. It becomes spring and in the spring, all of the elk and the mule deer have their babies. So then we'll be hunting fawn and calves, which is gonna be, it has its own level of difficulty. I think it's a little easier, but that's when our pups start eating meat. They don't have to eat regurgitated food from mom and dad anymore. They can actually eat from a carcass themselves, but we have to bring it to them because obviously they're not big enough to hunt. So we bring it to them and they get the taste of real fresh meat off the bone for the first time. So that's gonna be a really special moment for our babies and for mom and dad who have worked so hard to get them to this point. Okay, babies, mama's coming back. <laughs> In fact, we might sleep with them one more time just to see if we don't get them to that 12 pound point. That'd be really good. Oh, I'd be so happy. <laughs> okay. Feeding time. I know you guys aren't hungry, but you need to eat up. Mama wants you to grow big and strong. Oh my gosh. Oh, they're itching. Are our fleas bad? They're not that bad. I love how close in color they are to their dad. I wonder how it's going to look when they all grow up. Once they get to that point where they can, where we move to a different site, we'll move to the rendezvous site. They actually grow up a little bit and you get to see their coat just a little bit better, but they're really just gonna look like their dad. Okay, babies, are you well fed? Are you ready for sleeping? We're gonna sleep. Aww. Just makes me want a puppy. <laughs> Wolves are not pets though, guys. Just remember that, wolves are not pets. They are meant to be wild and free. Oh, they just love being with their mom. Okay, we're gonna feed them again and we'll sleep one more time and we'll see if, okay, it probably won't get them to the 12 pound point. <laughs> it still takes a while to get there. All right, let's go ahead and scope a little bit. I hear wolf howls, which I don't like at all. We've been pretty fortunate though. We've mostly only had um, eagle attacks. We had the one coyote attack, I think that was more of an accident where we ran up on them instead of them running up on us when we first got to the den. But we haven't really had too bad mostly just that's not a wolf is it okay the tree stumps look like wolves now and they kind of scare me <laughs> hi baby oh but yes we've been pretty fortunate i'm kind of worried that now that we've moved and we're taking more and more territory it could be that that might intimidate some of the packs and they might want to start seeking us out there goes tail there he goes same as always <laughs> All right, we're gonna nap. No, don't follow your brother. What are you doing? Why would you follow your brother away from mom? They're already growing up. They don't wanna be with mom anymore. No. Come back, babies. Did they just fall asleep over there? They did. All right, let's see how big they are now. Oh, they're so close. Okay, hopefully in the next episode. We will see them hit 12 pounds. Oh, wolves howling makes me nervous. Here you go, Mikhail. I can't regurgitate. Oh no, I'm I'm hungry. Bane, feed the babies. Feed the babies. Okay, well while he feeds them, I think that is all the time we have for this episode. <laughs> He's being a good dad right now. He's being a very good dad right now. <laughs> 
Okay, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please give the like button a tickle and a poke. Subscribe if you would like to see more of our videos here and ring the bell so that you get a notification of when we post more Wolf Quest videos or any other videos. <laughs> yep, there's Mikhail, his mama's boy. Oh no! Okay. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs> I will see you next time. Bye! <laughs>